Hello, I'm Mr Maths and today I'm going to talk you through a functional skills entry level 3 question from a test paper. Now this, this question comes from an open awards paper and the reason why I'm posting this video today is because I don't every time I speak to my students about doing a test they seize up with fear and when they see the questions they can't believe that a lot of it is just common sense. So all through the year they're taught skills like fractions and and multiplication and times the tables etc which they find really hard and then they get to the functional skills entry three questions and they realize that they're actually really simple so I'm just going to go through one today Jade and Simon want to get to the nature center for 10 a.m. it takes three quarters of an hour for the bus to get there which buses should they get to be at the nature center for 10 a.m. tick the buses See, with this test, all they want to know is that you understand what three quarters is. And you're going to get a mark for this. And that you can understand and read a clock. So the answers are 12 and 13. So we tick these. You could get away with just ticking one. As long as you get the right answer. So then you're going to get one mark. The Nature Centre closes at 4 p.m. The last entry into the center is an hour and a quarter before it closes. What is the latest time people can get into the center? Once again, this is just common sense and we're just inviting our students to work out the time an hour and a quarter before 4 p.m. And as you know, that's 2.45 p.m. Jade and Simon arrive late at 10.15 a.m. The nature center closes at 4 p.m. They want to spend six hours at the center. Can they do this? Show your calculations. They're not going to want you to show anything extensive by ways of calculations. But they're going to want to see something. So what I've put here... Oh, here so what I've put here is an addition problem and they're not going to want you to concentrate on the minutes because if you're adding minutes up it's going to add up not to 100 it's going to add up to 60 but what they want to see is that you can add up the hours 10 plus 6 is 16 15 and maybe they want to see that you can work out the 24-hour clock and what time that would be in the p.m. It's going to be 10, 15 plus six hours maybe you could put. I've put this quite roughly here, but something like that. And your answer for the next mark is no. And as you can see, this is a really easy four mark question. I've been Mr. Maths and I'll see you later.